Nabasa went about delicious in dungeon. After his sister is devoured by a red dragon and losing all their supplies in a failed dungeon raid, Lys and his party are determined to save his sister before she gets digested. Completely broken, having to resort to eating monsters as food, they meet a dwarf who will introduce them to the world of Dungeon Meshi. Delicious cuisine made from ingredients such as the flesh of giant bats, walking mushrooms, or even screaming mandrakes. You can read all 97 chapters of it, but it'll be coming out on Netflix in January with animation from Studio Trigger. The early previews look amazing, and I can only hope more people get on board to watch this comedic but faithful fantasy anime. But I think the coolest part about the manga is how detailed it can be. Throughout all my RPG adventures, I've never really thought about cooking the monsters I slay. Maybe outside of Final Fantasy XV with Ignis. Could you eat a slime? What about living armor? Dungeon Meshi is really cool about exploring the food prep involved and is really expressive about how the characters react to it, both positively and negatively.